in the vast desert of northeastern Africa, along the fertile banks of the Nile River, lies the birthplace of one of history's most remarkable civilizations. Egypt's origins are shrouded in mystery, with various theories attempting to explain how this advanced society emerged. Scholars have debated for centuries, piecing together evidence from archaeology, ancient texts, and environmental studies. The lifeblood of ancient Egypt, the Nile River, provided the resources necessary for the civilization's growth. Its predictable flooding deposited rich silt on the land, creating fertile soil ideal for agriculture. The river's abundance contrasted sharply with the surrounding arid desert, making the Nile Valley a unique and hospitable environment. One theory posits that climate change played a significant role in Egypt's formation. As the Sahara gradually dried up around 5000 BCE, nomadic hunter-gatherers were forced to settle along the Nile. This shift from a nomadic to a sedentary lifestyle laid the groundwork for agricultural practices and permanent settlements. With the advent of agriculture, small villages began to sprout along the Nile. Farmers cultivated wheat, barley and flax, utilizing irrigation techniques to manage the river's flow. This agricultural surplus allowed populations to grow, leading to more complex social structures. The unification of Upper and Lower Egypt is a pivotal moment in the civilization's history. According to legend, King Nama, or Menes, united the two regions around 3100 BCE, establishing the First Dynasty. This political consolidation brought stability and centralized power, essential for the civilization's growth. Another theory suggests that cultural and technological influences from Mesopotamia contributed to Egypt's development. Trade and interaction with Mesopotamian societies could have introduced new ideas, such as writing and architectural techniques. These exchanges enriched Egyptian culture and spurred innovation. Religion played a crucial role in unifying and legitimizing the early Egyptian state. The belief in divine kingship and the gods' favor helped to centralize authority under the pharaoh. Temples and religious rituals became focal points for community life, reinforcing social cohesion. Archaeological discoveries, such as the artifacts found in Abydos and Hierakonpolis, provide valuable insights into Egypt's early development. These sites reveal evidence of sophisticated burial practices, pottery, and tools, indicating a high level of societal organization. Excavations continue to uncover the layers of Egypt's prehistoric past. During the pre-dynastic period, circa 6000, 3100 BCE, distinct cultural groups began to emerge in Upper and Lower Egypt. The Badarian, Nakada, and Marimdi cultures each contributed unique elements to what would become Egyptian civilization. This period saw advancements in pottery, trade networks, and social stratification. Trade was a vital component of Egypt's early economy. The exchange of goods, such as gold, copper, and luxury items, facilitated wealth accumulation and cultural exchange. Trade routes extended beyond Egypt's borders, linking it to the wider ancient world. Technological innovations, such as the development of copper tools and the potter's wheel, accelerated Egypt's progress. These advancements improved agricultural productivity and craft specialization. Skilled artisans and craftsmen played a crucial role in building the civilization's infrastructure. The invention of writing, specifically hieroglyphs, marked a significant milestone in Egypt's history. Writing enabled the recording of transactions, religious texts, and historical events. This development helped to maintain administrative control and preserve cultural heritage. A complex social hierarchy began to form, with the pharaoh at the top, followed by priests, nobles, artisans, and farmers. This stratification allowed for efficient governance and resource distribution. Social mobility was limited, reinforcing the stability of the societal structure. Urban centers such as Memphis and Thebes became hubs of political and economic activity. These cities housed administrative offices, religious temples, and marketplaces. The concentration of power in these urban centers facilitated the coordination of large-scale projects. The construction of monumental architecture, such as pyramids and temples, showcased Egypt's engineering prowess. These structures required precise planning 
labor organization, and advanced techniques. They served both religious and political purposes, reinforcing the pharaoh's divine status. Despite its advantages, the Nile Valley faced environmental challenges, such as unpredictable flooding and desert encroachment. The Egyptians developed sophisticated irrigation and flood control systems to mitigate these risks. Their ability to adapt to their environment was key to their survival. Warfare also played a role in Egypt's early development. Conflicts with neighboring regions such as Nubia and Libya tested the military capabilities of the nascent state. Victories in these conflicts expanded Egypt's territory and resources. Cultural continuity and conservatism helped to maintain stability over millennia. The emphasis on tradition and reverence for the past created a resilient societal framework. This continuity allowed Egypt to endure periods of turmoil and change. The legacy of early Egypt set the foundation for one of the longest lasting civilizations in history. Innovations in governance, architecture, and culture influenced subsequent societies. The achievements of ancient Egypt continue to captivate and inspire people around the world. The story of how Egypt began as a civilization is a complex tapestry woven from diverse threads of climate change, technological innovation, social organization, and cultural exchange. Each theory provides a piece of the puzzle, contributing to our understanding of this ancient society. As new discoveries are made, the rich history of Egypt continues to unfold, revealing the ingenuity and resilience of its people. Our journey through time comes to an end for today. We embark on new adventures every week. If you relish the experience, please like and subscribe.